Hello, welcome again to the Retro Shed. Tonight I am down the shed having a play on one of my favourite retro shooters from the golden age of arcade games. Bosconian was released by Namco in 1981, following on from their brilliant Galaxian arcade game. Bosconian was the first arcade shoot 'em up to feature eight way diagonal directional movement and fire in two directions at the same time, forwards and backwards. It was also the first game to feature a continue option after losing your last life. Now, although I don't ever recall seeing a Bosconian arcade machine back when I was a kid in any arcades, it didn't stop me from discovering this wonderful game sometime later and really enjoying it. Apparently, it was a big hit in Japan, but not so much overseas, which is a reason why we never really saw it much in the arcades here in the UK. If you've never seen or played Bosconian before, you are missing out. You control your fighter that stays in the middle of the screen and you can fly in any direction. The idea of the game is to clear each screen of star bases, which are an absolutely great design, consisting of a hexagon shaped space station made up of globes. You can either destroy all six globes to take out the station or shoot the core with a well aimed bullet. Where have we heard that before? Shoot the core. You also need to survive and destroy waves of enemy ships, mines and asteroids, and a radar on the right hand side of the screen helps locate enemies and base stations. All through the game a digitised voice tells you when specific events are happening, although it's not particularly clear sometimes what exactly is being said. Alive, alive. A number of home versions were made available for the 8-bit micros, but these didn't come out until 1987. And to be honest, they weren't the most authentic arcade Bosconian experience. The game was entitled Bosconian 87. These versions compared to the arcade original are really poor. You don't get a good Bosconian experience at all. I'm not sure why, they're just, they're just bad. Look at this C64 version of Bosconian 87. You've got a small window of gameplay at the bottom. The top third of the screen is taken up by this bar showing all sorts of things like score, fuel, radar and the number of remaining ships. It detracts from what made Bosconian so fun, you haven't got much window to fly about in, don't like it at all. Look at the ZX Spectrum version, again it's a small game window, surrounded by this huge field of, I don't know, whatever it is, it's just, it just doesn't look good to me. The Amstrad version is very similar, it's got a small window, it does look a bit more colourful than the Spectrum version, but again, it just, it's just not Bosconian is it? Now the one 8-bit version that is actually very, very good indeed is the MSX version. This was released before the other 8-bit versions back in 1984 and it actually happens to be one of the most faithful conversions of the game. The MSX platform itself is a bit odd. It had amazing support in Japan with some of the best versions of many popular arcade hits, especially from the Konami stable. But here in the UK we suffered from some very poor Spectrum conversions released for the MSX on tape and they really are, some of them, quite unplayable. They're not very good at all. So down here tonight I thought I would take a look at Bosconian, but before we have a look at the MSX version that I'm talking about, let's remind ourselves how good the arcade version of this game really was. Right, let's get stuck in. This is the uh, original arcade version of Bosconian. Uh, we played this a lot, me and Josh, actually, because um, there's a version of Bosconian on our Namco arcade TV stick. So we've been playing this game for years. I really, really like it. It's a cracking little shooter. Locked off. So yeah, the digitised speech, it's not the clearest in the world. Um, it took me ages when he was shouting alert, alert. It actually sounds like alive, alive to me. <laughs> it's not brilliant, but... Yeah, this is a really nice game. This came out after Galaxian, actually. Um, and I read somewhere... Whoops. I read somewhere that the unsold cabinets got turned into Galaga cabinets in the end. Alive, alive. But anyway, back to Bosconian. So these are the green um, space stations, or base stars, or whatever they're called. Um, and I say you can scroll in all eight directions and you fire forwards and backwards and the idea is to blow up these 
space stations. You can do that like I'm doing now by blowing up the globes, or cannons I think they're called, or, and avoid getting shot by these guys. Oh, here comes a wave of them to attack me. Or you can try and get a well-aimed shot in the middle there when it opens up. Well, like that. Um, and there's a radar on the right hand side which shows you roughly where all the uh, the space stations are in relation to your ship. Now on this level the battle stations do start to fire back. Here comes a wave to attack me. If you shoot the command ship they all scarper so you have to be quick to get them all. I prefer this to Gallagher actually. Um, I've spent definitely spent more time playing this than Gallagher. I find it more enjoyable. There's certainly a lot of mines and asteroids around. I'm trying to make my way over to this fella here. The screen wraps as well, so if you go off one end of the radar, so if you go off the right-hand side of the radar, you appear... Oh, whoa! You appear on the left-hand side of the playing field. God, they're relentless, these guys, aren't they? I think they're trying to stop me. Jesus Christ. So if I scroll off the bottom of the screen now, it goes back up to the top. There you go. It gets really fast and frantic pistols. Okay, condition red, and I think that means every one of these dogs is now out to get me, and you really don't survive this for very long. There you go. Let's see if I can get these last two uh, space stations here. line up. <laughs> I'll tell you what I'm going to do. I'm going to get the globes instead. There we go. Let's head over and get this last one. Oops. They really don't want me to, to get this last one. Damn. Yeah, like I said, I never saw, I don't recall ever seeing this in the arcades. Quite rare. Uh, big in Japan, but didn't sell very well internationally. Which is a shame, really. Because um, it really is good. There you go. That's the arcade version of Bosconian. Right, now, let's take a look at the MSX version. Right, here's the MSX version, released in 1984, um, and we're running it on a lovely Toshiba HX10. So, take a look at this. I think you'll find it's not bad at all, compared to those other versions we saw, which look pretty dismal. It even has the digitised digitized speech uh, when you blast off. I think that's the only time it speaks, though. But that's okay, but as you can see, you don't get that much sense of movement when you're in the middle of the star field, but... All the enemies are, re are quite smooth, actually. And I'm being attacked already. But as you can see, scrolling's not bad. It's colourful, it's smooth, and it looks like Bosconian, whereas those other versions look... I don't know what they look like, but they don't look like Bosconian. It's a shame I could never get hold of a copy back in the day when I actually had the MSX. But again... As I've said on many videos before, us MSX owners in the UK, 
in the UK, sorry, um, got a bit of a raw deal. It wasn't always easy to find MSX games, um, especially the good ones on the high street. You had to find a specialist MSX dealer or use mail order. These are all going to be lined up for me. Nice and easy. Well, nice and easy, I was going to say. God, it gets tough quickly, this game does. Yeah, this version really does the MSX proud, really, when you compare it to um, 64 Spectrum and Amstrad, which came out many years after this. You'd expect those versions to be a major improvement on this, but they're not. So we really, really did see a good version on uh, on the MSX. Oh, yeah, <laughs> that was a bit vicious. I really do love revisiting these old 2D arcade shooters from the golden age of arcade games. I mean, I think. The early 80s for me was definitely the best time to be visiting. Well, <laughs> to be visiting video game arcades, um, and I think if you're going to retro game, these sorts of games are definitely what it's all about. They're simple. They're quick to set up. They're fun. And people look at them now and go, "God, that looks really simple." But you know what? You sit and have a play of this, and you'll see it is not simple, and it's really, it's quite addictive. Is that it? Oh, I've got one man left. I must have earned another one. Anyway, I'm going to leave you. I'm going to carry on playing this for a bit. Um, thank you very much for joining me tonight in the Retro Shed. Hope you enjoyed that quick look at uh, Bosconian in the arcade and uh, on the MSX. And like I say, if you have got an MSX, you must find a copy of this to have a play with. Um, I'm using uh, a Carnivore multi-cartridge. So... Uh, it's one of thousands of games I've got on that cartridge. So take care. We'll catch you again very soon here in the Retro Shed. Thanks for watching. Good night. <laughs>